That was three times three. So the words you're hearing there, it's almost hard for me to repeat them just like speaking. I don't know so much from singing, but I'll try to speak them out. Ya'aki chita wahu kon zuyo. So akicha is a warrior. Akichita. Wachipro is dance. Come together. So in, in a word, in a song like that, where there are words, there are always going to be vocals, just sounds blended in. And all that, those are the connecting sounds. We do it in Western civilization as well. The na na na's and hey hey hey's in our pop culture music. So you will hear in that this Lakota song. Ya ya akichi ta wahu. Ya Words, those are words. Those are words. All those are words. So there's a blend. 
Are there some songs that are just vocals? Absolutely. The, in the reservation climate of America, you, there's a lot of hostility even between the tribes, even though they, they should have had a lot of solidarity. The old tribal differences were still problematic. And so a lot of the elders began to realize, or well, a lot of people, elders and others, began to realize that, that solidarity was important and the intertribal movement was born, for better and worse. Some people now say, hi, I'm Indian, as opposed to saying, you know, I'm Cherokee or I'm Lakota. That's a drum calling song, and those words gabubububonagie, that's literally the singer's voice mimicking the sound of the drum. But it's funny how you can hear in that that the, that the drumming is an independent line from the singer. The singing is, is hovering above the drum. And it's important that you sing to your ichabu, to your beater, not on rhythm, but off rhythm. And it's very difficult to do that if you're not raised in that position. It took me a long time to get to where I could do that instinctually.